it appeals to everybody. It's basically, uh, you know, I think the theme of the book is, you know, it talks a lot about Africa. It talks a lot about baseball. It talks a lot about, you know, just Ellen and I's life. And, uh, you know, I think the whole point of this book is that, you know, Ellen and I both know that we don't have a whole lot of life experience. You know, we're only 23, 24, but uh, at the same time, we still feel like we can make a difference. And that's kind of the theme of the book is, it doesn't really matter where you are in life to uh, make a difference right where you're at. So uh, I think that's probably the overall theme of it, and uh, I think it kind of appeals to everybody, uh, probably more specifically, you know, high school, college, right out of college, that type of age. Um, Ellen, before I let you guys go, I want to ask you about Clayton's preparation for the season and things like that. You guys have been dating since you were 14. You've been married 13 months. You're still just kids. You're 23 and 24. Would you talk to me about your husband's preparation for next season, and then we'll give him the last word. Yeah, I mean, he, he really does have the hardest work ethic of anyone I have ever seen. And part a huge part of me convincing him to go to Zambia with me was making sure that we had a blue pitching mat over there and someone to throw with him, and he'd be able to work out. And um, he just is all about routine. And I think what he's probably told multiple interviewers is that he works hard the four days that he's off from pitching just so that when on that fifth day when he does pitch, there's no excuses. He's done everything as he should have done. And so, I mean, it's amazing to see his work ethic. It really is inspiring and motivating <laughs> for us who are around him. Well, so. Ellen, uh, you're delightful, and I'm sure we will talk more about Arise Africa and your involvement and all that kind of stuff throughout the season. If I can't get a hold of Clayton, I'll, I'll make sure that I have you on. And, yeah. and, uh, and Clayton, I'm going to give you the last word on this. Your, your season starts when? When do you leave for spring training? I think we'll leave. Uh, I think spring training starts February 21st. And, and what are you going to be doing between now and then? I mean, obviously working out and, and getting in shape. And then, of course, we all move over to, uh, is it, are you in Arizona now or are you still in Vero Beach? We're in Arizona, yeah. Okay. All right, the new facility. Uh, expectations for next year? Of course, the Dodgers have been in a lot of turmoil. Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm excited. I just think uh, with the whole new season, we'll have a lot of the turmoil that you talked about, uh, you know, behind us. and. You know, we got a we got a pretty much the same team as last year with a couple additions, and you know, I think the main thing for us is just to be healthy and for everybody to do what they're capable of doing. And uh, you know, if we get what everybody's supposed to do, a healthy Andre Ethier this year, a healthy Juan Uribe, a healthy you know some other guys on our team, I think uh, you know we could we could uh, you know give the Diamondbacks a run for their money. Now, Clayton, are both you and Ellen speaking on Sunday night at uh, South Bay, or just you? I think it's both of us. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, good. Well, well, tell Steve Bates that's what you want because Ellen is wonderful. I could tell, obviously, you married up, which uh, most baseball <laughs> players typically do anyway. And no uh, have, a, have a great time on, on Sunday night. And, and no more tickets, okay? Yeah, absolutely. All 